summer 2016. The presidential race in full swing, a bitter battle between two celebrities with unusual baggage. Right in the middle, FBI Director James Comey, conducting investigations that threatened both campaigns. We're going to turn now to the latest batch of Hillary Clinton emails. I never sent classified material on my email, and I never received any that was marked classified. You did know from the start that this case was going to be trouble. Yeah, I knew this was a no-win situation. One half of the partisan divide is going to be angry at us no matter what we do. The deputy director looked at me and said, you know you're totally screwed, right? And I smiled and I said, yep, nobody gets out alive. And this may sound strange, that's kind of freeing. Critics say the fix was in from the start. President Trump says you were writing the, the conclusion even before you interviewed Hillary Clinton. That is just wrong. Anybody who's actually done investigations knows that if you've been investigating something for almost a year and you don't have a general sense of where it's likely to end up, you should be fired because you're incompetent. And to those who say you should have brought Hillary Clinton before a grand jury? We would prefer with a subject of an investigation to do an informal interview, a lot more flexibility there. They're still required to tell the truth. Comey was a man in conflict. Was his boss, Attorney General Loretta Lynch, compromised by the public perception that she was too close to the Clinton camp? His first concern, when she told him to refer to the Clinton email controversy as a matter rather than an investigation. Did you think she was doing that to protect Hillary Clinton? I didn't know. It, it worried me. It gave me an uncomfortable feeling because the Clinton campaign had been trying to come up with other words to describe it. And the final straw, Lynch's meeting on an airport tarmac with President Bill Clinton. I decided I have to step, as much as I like her, I have to step away from her and show the American people the FBI's work separately. Believing the credibility of the Justice Department was at stake, he made a dramatic and unprecedented move, calling a press conference without telling his boss what he would say. The FBI Director James Comey is about to give a statement to the press. I'm here to give you an update on the FBI's investigation of Secretary Clinton's use of a personal email system. Your critics say this is where your ego got the best of you. This was your original sin. So if it was about ego, why would I step out in front of the organization and get shot a thousand times? I actually thought, as bad as this will be for me personally, this is my obligation to protect the FBI and the Justice Department. Given all that had gone on, the Attorney General of the United States could not credibly announce this result. And if she did, it would do corrosive damage to the institutions of justice. Comey concluded there was no criminal intent and no reason to prosecute Clinton. But he was also harshly critical. Secretary Clinton used several different servers, contained information that was top secret. There is evidence that they were extremely careless in their handling of very sensitive, highly classified information. Your critics say you offered way too much information. The way they put it, listen, in the FBI, we simply do not bloody up people we choose not to prosecute. Look, that's fair criticism. The Department of Justice has long done that in the appropriate case where it's necessary. The Department of Justice, but not the FBI director. That's right. What was unusual about this, in fact, unprecedented in my experience, is that I decided it was important that I speak separately from the attorney general. Why not put out a one-line statement, we decline to prosecute? If you issue a one-liner from the Obama Justice Department, about the Democratic nominee for President of the United States and say, we're done here, corrosive doubt creeps in that the system is rigged somehow. Can you assure people that the Obama Justice Department was not protecting Hillary Clinton? Yes. The FBI drove this investigation, and we did it in a competent and independent way. I would bet my life on that. The response from the Trump campaign was immediate and explosive. I always felt that Hillary Clinton would escape criminal charges for her dangerous and illegal behavior because I always knew that our system is, in fact, rigged. It's totally rigged. Lock her up. That's right. What voters did not know, even as the FBI very publicly closed the Clinton case, it would soon open the Russia investigation on the Trump campaign. We opened an investigation into whether there were any Americans associated in any way with the Trump campaign who were working with Russia as part of Russia's effort to influence our election. The trigger, Comey says, information that a Trump campaign advisor, George Papadopoulos, had met with a man who told him Russia had political dirt on Hillary Clinton. Russia, if you're listening, I hope you're able to find the 30,000 emails 
that are missing. What are you thinking then as you see President Trump invite the Russians to release Hillary Clinton's emails, as you see him refuse to criticize Vladimir Putin? I'm thinking the questions that we're asking ourselves, which is, is anybody, is the Trump campaign in any way working directly with the Russians? Despite the email controversy, by the fall, Hillary Clinton is riding high. Two weeks and a day before the final votes, our new tracking poll shows a 12-point lead for Hillary Clinton, her biggest yet. At this point in time, she has almost wrapped this race up. Until the October surprise she never saw coming. While working a separate case against Anthony Weiner, the husband of one of Clinton's top aides, FBI agents find hundreds of thousands of Hillary Clinton's emails on Weiner's laptop, but kept that information secret for weeks. And then the question for me now is, so what do we do now? The norm is, if you can avoid it, you take no action that might have an impact on an election. And I can't see a door that's labeled no action here. So in the final days of the election, Comey sends a letter informing Congress he is reopening the Clinton investigation. Congress tells the world. Secretary Clinton, any reaction to Director Comey reopening his investigation into your email? We have not been contacted by anyone. The first we knew about it is, I assume, when you knew about it. This is the biggest political scandal since Watergate. Comey says he had no choice. You could try to find out first whether or not they were indeed relevant, whether they, there was evidence there of a crime. Well, maybe, and maybe another director might have done that. My view is that would be a potentially deeply irresponsible and dangerous thing to do. But we don't know what's in it. Well, we know there are hundreds of thousands of Hillary Clinton's emails there. That's an affirmative act of concealment. That's the judgment you made. Uh, boy, you seem to be alone in that judgment. You look at previous attorney generals for President Bush, for President Ford, for President Obama, Justice Department officials for President Clinton, they all disagree with you. They say this crossed a line. Yeah, I've, I've heard a lot of that. What I would hope is that they would, by reading the book, come with me to October 28th. Tell me what you would do. Well, your critics say this is a clear, clear, clear double standard. You revealed information about Hillary Clinton. You concealed information about Donald Trump. That elected Donald Trump. Take a step back and stare at the two cases and the posture they were in. The Hillary Clinton email case was public, and the counterintelligence investigations trying to figure out whether a small group of people, not Donald Trump, we were not investigating Donald Trump, whether this small group of Americans was coordinating anything with the Russians. We had just started the investigation, didn't know whether we had anything, so it would have been brutally unfair to those people to talk about it, and it would have jeopardized the investigation. What did it feel like to be James Comey in the last 10 days of that campaign after you sent the letter? It sucked. I walked around vaguely sick to my stomach, feeling beaten down, felt like I was totally alone, that everybody hated me, and that there wasn't a way out because it really was the right thing to do. And as this heated campaign goes down to the wire, Comey closes the Clinton investigation for a second time. But to the Clinton campaign, the damage has been done. The election been on October 27th, I'd be your president. If she were sitting right here today, what would you tell her? As Hillary Clinton wrote in her book, I shivved her? I mean, that sounds like I was trying to knife somebody. I was out to get her. And it's an illustration of our polarization here that you've got the Trump camp, which I guess thinks I was trying to save Hillary Clinton. I would hope both camps will read this and I hope see a deeply flawed human surrounded by other flawed humans trying to make decisions with an eye, not on politics, but on those higher values. If you knew that letter would elect Donald Trump, you'd still send it? I would. Down that path lies the death of the FBI as an independent force in American life. If I ever start considering whose political fortunes will be affected by a decision, we're done. We're just another player in the, in the tribal battle. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.